Oh my goodness, you guys, you can't even fathom how happy I am right now. Because, as you can see, I have my account back and it's... Uh, I'm, I'm seriously just so happy I thought I had lost it and it could probably be felt a little in the end of the last episode I was very flustered I was very confused and I was very saddened by the whole fact but you know what it's fine we're going to go to talk to Mr. Filch and figure out if he knows anything about werewolves so yes oh this is actually interesting there's no ice here isn't it this the icy uh, corridor or is it just a court? It is an icy corridor. It's the, the corridor the Phil always seems to, to like protect, and he's right there. So hey, what do you want? <laughs> Typical Filch manner. Would like to ask you a few questions about the recent werewolf attacks. I'm Cecil Lee with the. Oh, he always gets cut off. I don't need to hiss for her. She hisses for me. <laughs> Miss Norris don't like you. She doesn't like you at all. So now go away. <laughs> I don't actually think she likes anyone. Animals tend to have that reaction to me. I've been told I have a very masculine smell. Uh, scent. I mean, very masculine scent. Okay. That's just an. <laughs> that's not. <nurse. laughs> that's just another way of saying you stink. <laughs> Huh? I never thought about it that way. <laughs> of course you didn't, but Cecil. Oh, you, 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 bis. Oh well. That's the way the prickish twits d demean your character. They call euthonium. Euthonium? What? W what's that? I isn't that an instrument or something? Euthanism? What? <laughs> Look at Miss Norris, she's like, wait, what? <laughs> it's called a euthanism. I'm pretty sure a euthorium is a musical instrument. Oh, I was right in that one. I, I at least have thought I've heard about that before. That ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> she's so angry. <laughs> Everyone's just angry. I'm very certain Mr. Field and his hissing cat are correct, Miss Bright. There's no... Such thing as euphemism. Um, there certainly is, Cecil. It's certainly a thing. Euphemism is a word you use to describe maybe something pervy without actually being pervy. Or they kind of show something that might mean something, but it's not that thing. That's a euphemism. That's what it actually is about. So, technically, we're right. It does exist, but of course, with C.C. Lee's... Hmm... Narrowed knowledge, it seems to be. I think... I, 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 will, I will allow him to say it. You three are the experts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we are being sassy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Norris, chill down. Do you know anything about werewolves, Mr. Filch? Why should I tell you anything? Ooh! To protect your students? Oh, he doesn't really care about the students. Uh, you can use your shackle shackles. Ooh, <laughs> maybe more interesting. Dumbledore wants you to help. He doesn't like Dumbledore, he doesn't like the students, but he does love his shackles. I know it's not the entry point, but I think we should go with the shackles. What do you guys think? Yeah. Me going with the shackles, that's for sure, because that is seemingly the only pride and joy other than Miss Norris in his life. So, yeah. 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 Shackles. It is. Definitely. Mr. Lee will probably let you use your shackles on Capture and Werewolves. We're going with the shackles. Please be happy just for once. <laughs> he laughed! Oh my goodness! That would be... um. That would actually be ideal. I forgot to bring my restraints. Cecil. So I was planning on using my suspe- No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Cecil. Really? You were gonna use your suspenders to try and hold down a werewolf? 
I, I'm not questioning your authority, but I'm f questioning your logic. It's been so long since I've been using my shackles. <gasps> Look, he's actually <sighs> smiling. Oh my goodness. Fine, I will tell you everything I know about werewolves. I have never seen this guy smile ever. And that was the closest to a smile I've ever seen. <gasps> so, this is a one hour. Okay. Let's talk to Vilch. I've heard Flickford knows a thing or two about werewolves. I never trusted him. No, 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 don't, don't trust anyone. Ever. Like, ever. You don't trust anyone. Talk to Miss Norris. Are you still upset about the time we fed you a sleeping drug? <laughs> probably. <laughs> oh, very well, much probably. Oh, it's lacking a bit, sorry. Would Phil and Miss Norris still get along if he became a werewolf? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Especially in werewolf form. Okay. Um, I would be surprised if Hagrid had a whole pack of them living in his hut. He doesn't like- Oh, he didn't like Hagrid either, even on his birthday! Cecil, what do you say to this? If your cat bites me, I'll, you will be hearing from a lawyer at the Ministry. <laughs> He's afraid of cats? <laughs> well, cats can bite and they can have rabies, but I don't think she has that. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to... No, look around, no... Yeah. Something smells strange in, the, in this corridor, but I doubt it's a werewolf. Okay. Let's talk to uh, Mr. Fuzz again, but I have a feeling that it might be uh, a repeat because of the amount of uh, energy points. Yes. I heard Flitwick knows a thing or two about werewolves. I never trusted that. Yeah, that's the same thing again. Okay. So, um. That's a thing. Thanks, Mr. Fulch. That might actually be quite helpful. Oh, it's us who says that. Uh, sorry about that, Cecil. Absolutely. We will speak with Professor Flitwick and see what he knows about the werewolves at Hogwarts. He probably just knows the basics, like everyone else. I better get to use my shackles on those beasts. <laughs> hizzy, hizzy. <laughs> He's so angry all the time. Chill out, girl. It's good, everything. Interview with Professor Flitwick. I have a bit of time before chance begin, if you would like to talk. Okay. So let's go to him now and talk to him. That would actually probably be wise. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe also just collect some energy now that we are actually here. You know, practical. Do we do some stuff here? No. Okay, back again. So let's go and talk to Mr. Flipwick. And there are people we can talk to in the class as well. Even Cecil. So what does Cecil have to say? I remember sitting in that very seat as a student in charms. Unfortunately, that's all I remember. <laughs> It's not that I'm doubt again, it's not that I'm doubting his authority. I am doubting his logic. Best definitely. Because I I don't think he's dumb. I don't think anything, but I think he thinks differently from our character and everyone else. I wonder if the werewolf capturing unit looking to hire any coward. Cecil! I'm pretty sure they will with Cecil, no no, no offense, but he was kind of afraid of Madame Hooch. So, I, I think you're good, Ben, if you want to be a... Um... Oh, that's Charlie! I do have a picture of a dragon eating a werewolf. Oh yeah, Charlie has something with dragons, didn't he? But yeah, let's just go and talk to Flipwick. And... yeah. Professor Flitwick. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm Cecil Lee, with the Werewolf Capturing Unit. We would like to ask you a few questions about the recent attack. Okay. Hmm. I was pre preparing the Frog Choir to perform at the Halloween feast, so I'm not sure I can be much help. Be of much help. Hmm. Yes, that's actually, uh, yeah. That's it. Oh, yeah, he's a little bit of the frog choir, that's right. Not to worry, anyone else has been fairly useless thus far. So our expectations for you couldn't be lower. Um, that's not a nice way of putting it. Oh, I'm flattered. 
I will tell you everything I know about the werewolves uh, at Hogwarts after class. <coughs> okay, so it's a three hour class. Okie dokie. Okay. Let's listen to what Charlie has to say. What would happen if a werewolf got bitten by a dragon? I don't know. A scaly werewolf? Maybe? I'm not sure about this one though. Look around. What if that struggling Gryffindor kid is a werewolf? I hope you're not referring to any of our friends, because we are only Hufflepuff and Gryffindors here. Is it the one that uh, Rowan talked about? Maybe. Do you, f uh, do you think I, I would still be afraid of the dark if I was a werewolf? Yeah, probably. The human form would probably still be. But I don't know with the werewolf part, because it, you won't remember being human, being a werewolf, as far as we've understood. Okay. I wonder if this is the first time a werewolf has attacked a Hogwarts student. No. It is actually not. <laughs> I was about to say, we don't know, but no, that's actually not true, because if we know Snape's stories, we knew Lupin accidentally attacked him once. Please exercise caution when you're confronted by a werewolf. That's, uh, that, that's a good um, hinty hint there, Professor Flitwick. So, yeah. Do we have a four? Yeah, we do have a four. Talk to Cecil. Some charms are quite effective against werewolves. Well, that's very good to know. Which ones? Filipendo didn't seem to work. <laughs> so which ones are you referring to, dear? <laughs> Dr. Flitwick. What does he have to say this time around? Mr. Lee is related to Barnaby, isn't he? <laughs> All the teachers are kind of... I don't know if they're hating on Cecil or hating on Barnaby. Uh, ben. Do you think I would still be afraid of the moon if I became a werewolf? So you're both afraid of the dark and the moon? I don't know. Charlie, do you have any of them? Have you asked Bill to help you with capturing the werewolves? Oh, that's kind of an easter egg, isn't it? We know where that happens. What would happen if a werewolf- Oh, bit a dragon! So it would be a scaly furry dragon, I guess. I don't know. If werewolves were the size of Professor Flitwick, that would be much easier to catch. <laughs> oh, you didn't say that! No! <laughs> that's mean! I know he's not... Oh, they're circling now. I mean, I, I know Professor Flitwick isn't the biggest person around, but... Like, the tallest person around, but that's just me. <laughs> Just saying that in front of him. Well, uh, let's just hope he's confident with his height then. I hope. I, I, I really seriously hope. Anywho. We're just waiting for that single little energy point that we can get. And then we can listen to what Ben have to say. Hopefully it's something insightful. Um, yeah, let, let's see. Do you think I'll still be afraid of the dark? So it's both the moon and the darkness that he's afraid of. Or if he would be afraid of it if he was a werewolf. That's intriguing. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Now we need to split this up. Cause we have no more energy. Peace. Exercise caution if you're confronted by a, a werewolf. Okay, so it, it is basically circling around now until we are done because I think we've heard everyone saying what they want to say uh, in this class, which is good. Um, I think actually we just go with a small one, like us wondering about stuff. Uh, and that's, I wonder when last time we had uh, attacked the Hawkmoon School. And I just shortly talked about that uh, with. Uh, Snape being attacked by Lupin, I think, at some point. Class has ended. What would you like to know, Mr. Lee? Have you ever seen a werewolf at, on school grounds? That's a, the same question as everything. If I had, I'm not certain I would tell you. Oh, it's lacking. That's uh, a little unfortunate. I'm just gonna be a little more careful when I click the dialogue, though. 
Um, why is that? Yeah, that's a good question. Is he not dead? Oh, he's probably, yeah. Because werewolves, because werewolves are victims. I don't believe they should be trapped, persecuted and destroyed. Oh, so I was right about the conflict we probably are going to be in because there's victim, the people that see them as victims and the people that see them as beasts, I guess. They might be victims, but it doesn't change the fact they are bloodthirsty killers. My. I'm quite certain that most werewolves manage their condition without hurting anyone. Probably. Like, I haven't heard, like, we, we haven't just, uh, like, heard of other aggressive werewolves than Greyback. Well, I'm quite certain I am the only werewolf expert at Hogwarts. <laughs> expert on expert, well. You are wearing the, a uniform, so that must be true. Tell me, Miss Bright. Oh no. Don't pull us into this discussion. Have you been impressed by Mr. Lee's experience? Expertise? Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh, we're going to pick a side now, aren't we? He seems to know what he's doing. That's the entry point, but I'm not quite sure if I agree with that one. He has no clue what he's doing. Well, he does have some knowledge of it, but it's not really good. Do you think you can do better? Well, it, it is the thing, like, we have two outer poles, like, um, we have a very left and very right opinion about werewolves in just looking in front of us. We have the people who look them as some victims, and we have the people who look them as bloodthirsty killers. So, let's take the in-between, like, the, the cop-out option, and just ask Mr. Flipwick if he could do better in this situation, because he might actually know spells or something that could help them. He is a challenge teacher, after all, so... He must also help develop different spells, so I don't know. It's just the whole thing that it seems to be a controversial subject to talk about at Hogwarts at the moment is the werewolves. And even when Harry Potter's dad and his friends went to school, they had to hide because they could morph into animals. And especially Lupin, because he was, I'm pretty sure he's called Lupin. Um, and even Lupin, who was um, a werewolf, he had to hide every month to to transform and that's where we had the whole situation with Snape almost being attacked where James Potter actually saved him as far as I remember I have read small passages now of different wiki stuff so you get the small knowledge but that's kind of interesting though but I, I, I don't think he knows what he's doing but I don't think he has no clue either I think he I think Mr. Lee is kind of in the middle so uh, so I think I would take uh, the one that... So I think I would take the... Do you think you can do better? Not really, but he is an expert. Do you think you can do better? Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of like... Like, I'm honest, like, I'm not impressed by it, but he is the expert. Not necessary, but I think I know one who could. Oh. Another expert. That could be interesting. You should visit Hagrid. He has a verifiable evidence that something wonderful can come from werewolves. What? What's this about? What? What? Well, that's intriguing. <laughs> like, a <laughs> little intriguing. Oh. Oh, we already have part three. Oh my. You uh, are entrusted with the secrets that you may question. What you have been told about werewolves. Yeah, exactly. We have been told by the authorities that werewolves are bad, but the public opinion might differ from that. Seeing the werewolves are victims, and then we have Lee, who is the authority, seeing them as a killer, so that's interesting. Meet Hagrid. Meet me in the courtyard, Ray. I think you've realized not all werewolves are bad after you see what I got. Oh, okay. Um. That's going to be quite intriguing to see, but I think we'll be doing that in the next one. And until next time, guys, take care and have a fantastic day.